We have a new update on this whole Yolanda, Zayn Malik and Gigi Hadid situation that took place and it looks like my premonitions could have been right when it comes to basically just what I think about this whole woman and this whole situation. Hey guys, it's Morali Morali. Hope you guys are doing well today. Back at it again with another video. If you have not subscribed guys, click that button. A daily and consistent content. Really and truly it is daily and consistent because the way I've just refilmed this entire video because the lighting was off. The lighting was just a bit too bright on my skin, didn't like it and I thought you know what let me get into this properly and hopefully show you guys you know a proper this this shirt is just oof and yeah we've got to get into this TMZ and Daily Mail reporting a new update and I think it's very interesting so let me just get straight into it and not waste any of your time. Same matter's confrontation with Yolanda, that one, the one that ended with Zayn pleading no um, contest to four charges. Sources with direct direct knowledge just, sources with direct knowledge to tell TMZ Zayn was at Gigi's home September 29th, where he was staying because he wanted to be close to his daughter. Our sources say on that day Yolanda barged into the home without calling beforehand or even knocking at the door. We're told this was an ongoing source of conflict. Zayn felt Yolanda was acting like the house was hers and ignoring his position as the boyfriend of Gigi and father of their little girl. Our sources say Zayn made his feelings known when she entered, but Yolanda was not having it at all. We're told Zayn typically worked, um, we're told Zayn works nights on his music and sleeps for part of the day. And Yolanda regularly disrupted his life by coming over as if she owned the place. There were other sources of attention as well. Yolanda was posting photos of the baby which pissed off Zayn because he thought privacy was vital. So, you know, it doesn't excuse Zayn for any wrongdoing. He is also wrong in the situation and he is not innocent in the situation at all. I'm making that very clear. But barge it into somebody's home, whether it be Zayn's or Gigi's, not even knocking on the doors, acting like you own the house, entitlement, a lack of consent and an invasion of privacy is what is ongoing here. The keyword is ongoing because it happened many a times for it to finally result into some kind of tension that overplayed itself and that was rubbed under the carpet. Yolanda can't be doing stuff like this because it's not your house. On top of not only are you coming into my home where I'm with my child but on top of that now you're not even respecting me as the father of my child and you're also leaking pictures of my child to the public when I'm not giving you permission. Are you mad? It's like they're all mad in the situation. As I said, they're not innocent. But I know some of you guys have been saying that, you know, normally I side with the DV victims more. I normally wouldn't. I feel like you normally should. But something about this woman, I just, it does, something about this woman, her spirit does not take, I don't take to her spirit. I don't take to this girl's spirit, especially when you're out here surprising Zayn or trying to change and convert his blood and take out the blood of, ang of anxiety and put in new blood and, you know, with six other people around throwing stuff. I'm not here for the black, I'm not here for the magic, do you understand? The black magic, whatever you want to call it, I'm not here for the magic. I don't mess with people who do magic because magic is very real, beloved. Do you understand? Magic is very real. Therefore, my spirit, my heart, it, my spirit, my soul, it does not take to someone like that. When I speak of this woman, I just don't like what I hear or see. And I just feel like, you know, these alternative methods that she likes to claim, Doing stuff like that can disrupt a lot of crap. Do you understand? Anyway, this is an update on the situation and I wanted to speak about it because I feel like this could have happened and you know, her barging in and doing stuff like that. It's not your house. You can't be doing stuff like this. You cannot be invading someone's privacy like that. That's not how it works. You're a grandmother. You're not the mother. Too many people have entitlement and it's not how it should be. That magic story really just... It, it chill went down my spine. Like It was just a little bit of... That's all I can really say. Let me know your thoughts are, guys, when it comes to this video. Subscribe, click that button. It's daily and consistent content, baby. And I'll catch you guys soon for another video.